hi friends we are looking at part 45 real questions if you have not become a member click the join button or use the link in the description to become cloud kernel or cloud ninja member please hit the subscribe button believe me lot of people are gaining from this content on this channel let us jump into the questions these are all real questions same or similar questions will come in the exam focus on the concepts please here we are talking about which task is an aws responsibility so if you see here installing the database engine is an aws responsibility creating the table is your responsibility updating the database schema is your responsibility because what would be the table name how many fields it will have what would be the data type this is all your responsibility you decide that dropping the database records like if you have five records you are dropping it it is up to you man it is your database your data you decide so this would be my final answer see here you want to deploy non relational database which one is a non relational database rds is a relational database it is a fully managed relational database from aws you can host sql oracle and so on so relational means rdbms relational databases that is like db2 oracle sql server so rds is wrong next dynamo db it is a no sql database you see this very high performance database applications like uber lyft etc use such databases this is my answer aurora is also a relational database because anything to do with my sql postgres these are all relational databases that's why c is wrong and redshift is also a relational database and it is columnar in nature high performance we store data warehouses there redshift is meant for data warehouse so that we can fire sql queries if we are asking for no sql database that means sql queries cannot be fired so redshift is wrong so this would be my final answer let's lock this the next question is talking about well architected framework it has the list of measures any learnings and architectural best practices these are the pillars operational excellence pillar security pillar reliability pillar performance pillar cost optimization pillar you see this and sustainability pillar there are six pillars for this next question so it is asking about which design principle is achieved following the reliability reliability is means what option a says vertical scaling scaling is about auto scaling elasticity it is not about reliability so a is wrong manual failure recovery we are talking about disaster backups it is not about reliability it is about whether the solution or the data should not be lost changing infrastructure manually this is also not about reliability because you change it manually or automated manner it does not impact the reliability so that leaves us with one option re test recovery procedures reliability means even if the application goes down it can be bought up it is reliable so reliability does not mean high availability please don't get confused this is my final answer folks if you have not yet subscribed please do so it will help you a lot and you also have an option to become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja member please click the link below this video or the link in the description these are all real certification questions chances of same similar questions coming in the exam very high please focus on the concepts see you in the next part